Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. A gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel as these are both free and easy ways to support the channel, right? And as always, we do appreciate the support. You know, the support has been tremendous and we really and truly do appreciate it. So guys, what you're seeing on the screen right now is the starting 11 for the Costa Rica-Jamaica game, right? Our starting 11 that we will be playing Costa Rica with, right? And this is not according to me. This is according to the Jamaica Observer, right? They are the ones that released this list and, you know, stated that this is the official starting 11 for the game um, later on today against Costa Rica. So again, this is not from me. You know, obviously this is my little list that I um, did up, but, um, you know, that I typed up rather, but, you know, the Jamaica, this is officially from the Jamaica Observer, right? Um, so the, 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 the starting 11 includes you know, um, star goalkeeper Andre Blake, Kimar Taximan Lawrence gets a run out in this one. Adrian Maria Paswell, who I haven't seen from um, we haven't seen him any at all in this tournament. He gets a run out as well. Damian Lowe, O'Neill Fisher, Devon Speedy Williams, Daniel Johnson, the much called for Tyree McGee, Leon Bailey. Junior Flemings, um, our, our hero against Guadeloupe. By the way, guys, every time I see that goal, it's just more and more goosebumps. Every time I see the goal, man, it's just, it's just an amazing goal. And to score such an amazing goal at, at that particular moment when we so desperately needed a goal. Trust me, man, one of those special moments from Junior Flemings. And Andre Gray, right? So that is the starting 11, according to the Jamaica Observer, that will be taking the, the field against Costa Rica. Um, one other thing, well, there are what? About seven, seven changes to the starting lineup um, for this particular starting lineup. So Kimar Lawrence, Mariapa, Fisher, Speedy, Maggie, Flemmer, Andre Gray, seven changes. That's a lot of changes. Seven changes. I saw somebody said in a, in a comment that you know Tapana will win this match. Seven changes, right? But um, I think more than likely Theodore Tapa Whitmore is thinking about it from the perspective that you know he, he expects to make a deep run, so he wants to rest some players. No use. No use rather playing these players when we are already in the in the um knockout stage. And also we're already sure for the knockout stage. And also, you know, you never know your player player and he gets injured. Another thing that Tapa stated in a in a in a you know stated to the Jamaica Observer. So the, the Jamaica Observer headline read Reggae Boys ring the changes for a Costa Rica clash. And Tapa Whitmore was quoted as saying, several factors drove the technical staff's decision for the shake-up, chief, chief of which is to safeguard a key, key players who are one card away from suspension with the quarterfinal match up to come. We have to take a number of things into consideration. One of them is that we have players here and cards and those three well there were three players that got carded from the last game and that was Liam Moore, Alvas Powell and Leon Bailey. So obviously you know the defenders Liam Moore and Alvas Powell are out. Right? I'm sure probably he, he has given Bailey a, you know he has spoken to Bailey and told Bailey to you know take it easy where you know certain certain challenges are concerned right um 
but he, he stated he further went on to state, but I am confident that the new starters will give 110% as they know what we need and what we are looking for, he said. Right, the other match of the double bill sees Group B campaign as Panama and Grenada, or that is later on in the day. They're, they're talking about the clash later on in the day. Right, um, assistant coach Paul Hall, I'm, I'm reading the article here, guys. Assistant coach Paul Hall, who took the lead in yesterday's training session at ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex said the work continues to get the team to a state of all-round high-quality football. Whitmore took part in the early part of the session before he had to run off for a CONCACAF organized press conference. You want to play yourself into some kind of form, getting to know each other, understanding that we want progress with confidence and a level of performance we want to achieve the 98 veteran right um the level of the mindset has has to be high no matter what game you go into i think everybody goes into a game wanting to win right so you know you guys can check out the rest of the article right on the observer the jamaica observer but yeah the observer said something interesting though the observer said that the the, the formation appeared to be a 4-3-3, right, in a formation that appeared 4-3-3. I don't know if, if you can, you guys think this is a 4-3-3? I mean, it could easily be a 4-2-3-1 as well, which, you know, we all know is Tapa's favorite formation, right? So, I don't know. Let's let's see how, how you know, the guys, you know, how they, they look when they, they, they take the field of play against Costa Rica. You know, I am hopeful that players like McGee, you know, and, and Speedy and Fisher as well, right? Um, I hope, well, Devon Speedy Williams has been very good in this tournament, right? We have seen little of Fisher, right? And, you know, you know, we have seen little of him and we have, we have seen, you know, absolutely none of McGee, right? And we all know what Mariapa can do and the service he has done for us over the years. So hopefully all the, the, the new starters, you know, can deliver for us, right? And we can put up a, a good showing against Costa Rica. And hopefully we can win. Hopefully we can win. Right. And um, we in a night well for me personally I would much rather face Canada. Well, I, I shouldn't say much, but I would prefer face Canada than the United States of America. One of the, 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 the changes I'm a little bit surprised in is that Andre Gray starts over Burke. It seems as if probably Theodore Tapa Whitmore has every intention of using Burke as the main man going forward and hence wants to, you know, safeguard him for the knockout rounds. Right? So, but you know, who you know, one could interpret from this as well that. You know, Tapa, Tapa doesn't really, obviously he would want to win this game, but it, 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 it you know, he, he erred on the side of caution and he chose the route that he thought was best, right? He erred on the side of caution and decided to rest these players rather than to risk it, right? So, you know, some people, some people are, you know, not, don't agree with it, but hey. You know, um, it, it's probably in the general scheme of things, the wise decision, right? Although many people would argue that it would probably be the wise decision to try and win this, to try as best as forward, to put your best foot forward, to try and win this Costa Rica game. But, you know, I think this team on paper can still compete and can still do well. Let's see how they look against Costa Rica later on today hopefully the boys can get a victory right so guys that's my two cents you know this is the, the starting 11 according to the observer to face costa rica later today so stay safe guys and until next time